Now let's try that again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Boy, she says, oh, I'm in church. I'm dressed as a Care Bear. I'll give her a break. She had a rough, had a, a very hard race on Friday, and she intent. I just got to say, before before we get started with this, we have two JV winners for Mohanison Cross Country here in our church. Piper won the JV girls race, and Tim won the JV boys race. So. So uh, after that, I'm done. You know. No, I'm kidding. So I, I heard you come in this morning and say, "Oh, I've got a was it? I don't remember exactly, but basically, oh boy, I said, he's afraid, in trouble I'm now. Afraid, but be I'm very, afraid. be very afraid." No, I'm, I'm just kidding. You were, are you I'm sure? Just throwing you off. Are, are you sure? Because I'm I mean, sure. yeah, okay, all right. So I don't know what's in the box. Um. <laughs> Can I shake the box? Yeah, can you shake the box? You're sure? And yeah. it's not alive? No, it's not. It's not anymore. <laughs> wow. It's not very heavy, but boy, whatever's in there is rolling around there a lot. All right. I'll let the Care Bear open it. Here, let's let the children's movie open it. Oh, it's a piece of ice. Oh, hold oh. on. I felt oh. it. It is wet. It's it is wet and cold. Just gonna that. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're welcome, pal. Wow, that's 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 not just a piece of ice. Boy, that's dripping really well then. Yeah, um, yeah, it's been in the box for a while. <laughs> but it's still pretty solid. It's been in the box for a while. That's like a hockey puck there. Mm -hmm. White hot um, whoever gets the box next might need a paper towel for I have the box. Here. <laughs> I did not expect that. So yes, here, pass, go ahead and pass that around. Yeah, I it's cold, it. huh? I'm good, thanks though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm to do it, do it. <laughs> start a riot. <laughs> cold, right? Cold it out. You know, before I, I segue into what I'm going to say, I, uh, before I get to what I say, Ice is probably the thing that annoys my, my wife the most. I actually did a six credit college senior course on the material properties of ice. Oh wow. I got a B in it. I didn't do very much work. She was not happy with me. She's like, you're not doing any work. I'm like, okay, you know, you're the professor. It's good to go. Ice is a really cool material. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if everybody would get that. Ice is, is an amazing material, and did you know, it's probably, I'm not sure if it's the only material that if, that had, when it freezes, gets larger in volume. So it, hmm. its density decreases. Do you know what density is? So like a piece of lead is more dense than a piece of wood. And what, because it is less dense than liquid water, what property does that allow ice to do? Float. It floats. It floats. And think about that. Think about that. If ice did not float, what would happen in the wintertime? It would sink to the bottom of every lake, pond, river. And every body of water would freeze from the bottom up. And what would that do to every bit of wildlife, every fish, every seaweed? It would die in the winter. So water is, clearly it is the thing that we need most to live, right? You all know that. The water, if you go, you can go weeks and weeks without food. But you can't go much more than three or four days without water. But, so water is the single most important material on earth. And it's mentioned many times in the Bible. But it's that feature that I like of ice floating to the top. 
we, our planet would not survive if water did not have that material property to become less dense as it froze. And I think, to me, if there's any single indicator of God being the creator, it is that material property of water to float. Because life would not exist on this planet without that material property. And no other, I, don't, I can't think of any other, any other element, any other material on the earth that exhibits that property. It becomes less dense. And maybe I'm wrong. But I, I can't think of anything that becomes less dense when it freezes. So think about that the next time you put an ice cube in your glass and it floats to the top. That's God. That's God's hand in creation. Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear God, we thank you for, for thinking of everything. And we thank you that, that you created this wonderful material. We thank you for water. We know you are the living water. We thank you for the water we drink. And we thank you for the water that floats to the top of the lakes and ponds and even our glasses of cold ice water. Lord, remind us of your, your role as the creator every time we go to the freezer and grab an ice cube. Every time as we see a frozen pond or see snow fall from the sky. In your name we pray. Amen.